The streets of downtown Lewiston represent years of addiction and personal struggle for one man desperately trying to rewrite his story. There's just one problem. The mistakes of his past are written in permanent ink all over his face. And I really, for years and years and years, just excluded myself from the world. You know, for 33-year-old Ryan Breton, it began with severe depression and anxiety from an early age. By his teenage years, that escalated to drugs and alcohol, even self-mutilation, isolating himself from friends and family. He would say, Mom, I look like a freak. I'm going to make sure that people think I'm a freak, which is awful. Cutting and burning, and then the tattoos kind of went into that. It was like a relief while I was getting it. The majority of Ryan's life, a vicious cycle of drugs, jail, and rehab. Unable to get a job because of his face, each attempt at recovery fell short, sending him back to the streets. Now that all my friends are dead, doing life bids in prison, and here I stand trying to still walk out of the mess. Which brings us here today. After a year of sobriety, an Auburn woman is giving him the chance to peel back the layers and reveal who he really is. It's been really fun to watch the changes and see how he's growing and gaining confidence. Nurse practitioner Pat Donahue heard about Ryan's story and offered her help as a laser removal specialist for free. The painful process absorbs the different colors of ink and explodes them, eventually erasing them from the skin. So painful, most people take six to eight weeks between treatments. Ryan goes once a week. So if you get hit today, what? Well, it's getting there. But he's determined. He's very determined. And I think the most determination comes from his kids. He wants to be a good dad for his kids. Four little lives are depending on him. Six-year-old twins, an eight-year-old, and a 13-year-old. I didn't realize how much that I needed my kids in my life until, like, now that I have them, like, and they're so proud of me, and they're, like, it just, I, ha I always had my kids, but I, I guess I didn't, you know, because... I wasn't there for him like I needed to be. Despite his struggles, Ryan is still able to be a part of his children's lives. One slip up, and he knows he could lose them forever. They just want me to make it so bad. You know, they're like, Daddy, you're not drinking, and Daddy, and I don't wish they didn't even know that, but um, they just want me to, you know, they're like, You're getting your tattoos off, you're doing good, Daddy, and they're just proud of me, and it makes me want to be a better person. You know, I love them so much, so it's. It's keeping me going. Ryan is still very much on the road to a full recovery, but he is certainly determined in this new chapter of his life. He is actively searching for a part time job, and he hopes in the future he can share his story to help others. And right now, you can continue to watch Ryan's journey in his own words. It's a web exclusive you'll find on our website, mobile app, and Facebook page. In the studio, I'm Katie Thompson, WMTW News 8.